Good morning, Weaver Town. I'm guessing some of you listening don't know who I am, so maybe I'll begin with a brief introduction of myself. My name is Lyndon Byler, and my parents are Jonas and Susie Byler. And I'm currently living here in Minsk, Mazowiecki, Poland, serving here with Anabaptist International Ministries. So I grew up at Weaver Town, but I've been living here in Poland for over three and a half years, and I recently transferred my membership to our church here, Agape Mennonite Church. And under normal circumstances, my primary responsibility is teaching English. We operate a private English school uh, teaching conversational English. So I was asked to give an update on my current life, um, what things look like for us here. So maybe I'll start with school. I believe our school here was forced to close a few days before schools closed in Pennsylvania. Um, and for about the first week, we just took a break and um, Took a bit of time to try to figure out what we would do next, but like much of the rest of the world, we've adapted and we're, we're teaching lessons online. Uh, maybe I should explain that at our school, uh, most of what we do is simply have conversation with students. And so uh, it gives our students a chance to practice their English, to hear us as native speakers speak, um, gives us a chance to correct them. And so this concept actually works fairly well um, over video chat, over the internet. So not all of our students have, have signed up for that, but quite a few of them have. Um, so my, my schedule is not as full as it was before, but I do have a decent amount to do, and, and that's good. I, I look forward to, to my classes that I teach. Um, our church here is quite small. On a normal Sunday morning, our attendance is around 30 to 35. So one advantage of such a small church is that, that it works well for us to, to meet together on Zoom. So the last number of Sundays, uh, we've all met together, and our pastor usually shares something, but then we have an extended time of uh, sharing testimonies. Our, we only have about seven or eight households, so kind of everybody can, can get a turn to talk about what's happening and uh, what they've been experiencing in the, in the last week. So maybe a bit about what my daily life looks like. Um, I think similarly to what you are experiencing, most places are closed here. Uh, grocery stores are open, but not a whole lot of other things are happening. Um, we're required to wear masks when we go out. Uh, so for myself, I've, yeah, I've had a number of days where I haven't left the house. Uh, I've spent a lot of time at home. And um, we live here in the, in the middle of a city of about 40,000 people. And um, I live in the fifth floor apartment with my flatmate, Alex. Uh, and so sometimes a number of days going outside for me meant taking a step out onto our quite small balcony. Um, but even that can, yeah, can be nice to, to get some fresh air. <laughs> But, but we do feel, feel kind of trapped here sometimes. Uh, personally, I've, all things considered, I've, I've, I've really been enjoying some of the, the free time that I have. Um, I have more time to read. Um, I've been, uh, one, of my, one of my Polish friends and I have been talking for an hour every day. Um, one day in Polish, one day in English. He wants to improve his English, and I want to improve my Polish. So that's something that I simply did not have time for uh, under normal conditions. I've also had had more opportunity to talk with with more people, um, not in Poland, people in the states, and so um, in a in a really strange way, I feel more connected and and maybe less connected to other people all at the same time. Um, some of some of my friends here in Poland who live very close to me, uh, I haven't seen for for a month, um, and and I've been talking to some people, some of you all, some people in the states, more than I have for years, maybe. Um, and this time also, I think for for myself and for a number of us here, uh, when we're stuck in our apartments, most of the time it's it's a time that can can maybe make us question why we're here and, and what we're doing in a way that we, that we often don't, don't think about. Um, when I sit in my apartment all day, 
um, there's a sense in which I could be so many other places in the world and my, my life wouldn't be any different as long as I have a decent Wi-Fi connection. Uh, I could be doing the same things I'm doing if, if I were sitting in Lancaster, if I were in an apartment in, I don't know, Moscow or Tokyo or wherever. Uh, and so that can, that can kind of make me wonder, hmm, why am I here and what am I doing? Um, but it has been it has been really meaningful to connect with um, my students and with other the other Polish friends here, and so uh, I'm, yeah, it does feel right to be here and to to survive this uh, together with with the other people that are here with our Polish friends. Um, I like to read just a few verses from Psalm 16. These are some verses that have uh, meant a lot to me recently, and hopefully they can be an encouragement to you as well. Psalm 16, uh, maybe I'll read verses 6 to 11, and this will be from the ESV. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And that last verse especially has, has meant a lot to me recently. I hope that it can be an encouragement to you as well. Um, I think for for all of us, our path maybe maybe doesn't look very um, doesn't look very nice. It looks scary. It's unknown, um, and yet yet God does make known to us the path of life, and in His presence um, there can be fullness of joy. Um, so it's my prayer for that's my prayer for myself and for for you all that you can um, find a place. Um, that, yeah, you can live in that fullness of joy even in this time. Thank you all. God bless you.